If you're looking for the top tools for Google Ads management, stay tuned. We're breaking down our top seven tools so that you can absolutely grow with Google Ads. So my first tip for Google Ads management or a Google Ads tool for success for your business is ClickSees or click fraud. So you'll probably see these if you go onto their website and then go onto your Facebook page or Instagram page because they advertise everywhere. Essentially what ClickSees is, is a tool that pings people's IP addresses to ensure that you're not getting any click fraud. So what do I mean by click fraud? Well, let's say that you're looking at your Google Analytics account and noticing that all of your paid traffic has an enormously high bounce rate or your time on page is like next to nothing. It could be that your competitors are clicking on your ads and costing you tons of money. We don't need that. For $50 a month, you get everything you get your sessions your ip protection all these different things that will prohibit people from seeing your ad and maliciously clicking on your ad costing you money so if your budgets are high or your numbers aren't matching up i highly recommend using clicksees or there's a few other ones we'll leave the links in the description and if you like this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and get notified every monday when we put out a new video our number two favorite tool is SEMrush. And we use SEMrush all the time for our SEO aspect of our agency, but it's also great for PPC. And I say that because they have all these different tools built into their one dashboard to help you better understand your pay-per-click campaigns. And it also helps drastically with the competitors. So there's a few different aspects of SEMrush that's highly beneficial to any Google Ads campaign. The first one being competitive research. So you're able to put in your competitors, you can look at their ad copy history, their landscape, their keywords, whether or not the landscape is seasonal or yearly, which ads they're running based on different times of the years. You can also look at their different landing pages. So you're able to really compile a whole holistic and macro and micro approach to your competitors' Google Ads campaigns. So then all you have to do is write better ad copy and make a better landing page, determine which keywords you wanna to go to, and boom, now you're ranking above your competitors. So there's also a great aspect of it that you can identify where your competitors rank at organically and compare that to where you rank on a paid campaign. So let's say your competitors rank somewhere organically that you don't rank for. So now you know which keywords those are so that you can start bidding on those keywords so now you have paid impressions when someone puts in those keywords. See where I'm going with this? SEMrush provides you with a huge detailed overview of what your competitors are doing, which then you can compare to your organic strategy or your paid strategy. It's so important. And I believe SEMrush starts at $199 a month. I could be wrong. We'll leave the link in the description below. Now, if you're not too familiar with Google Ads and how to manage a campaign on a daily and weekly and monthly basis, our top three tool is WordStream. So we've used WordStream before based on the volume of clients we've had. And we no longer do it because we have a few Google Ads specialists here who are now managing these campaigns within Google Ads. But if you need some type of knowledge and teaching while using a Google Ads management tool, WordStream is definitely a great tool. So it offers a few different benefits in that it will give you different hints or tips on which ad copies to change based on the click-through rates, which bids should potentially be higher for certain keywords that are showing historically better conversion rates than some of your other keywords. So it provides you with different options and tips on how to get your campaign to perform better. And so it provides you a whole overview within this one dashboard on to change ad copy, change bidding strategies, 
All of these different things are built right into WordStream. You can also manage your Facebook ads for it, but I don't really recommend that, but it is pretty good for a Google Ads management tool. And again, if you're a beginner and you don't necessarily know how to read the data, WordStream is a great tool for the knowledge aspect of it, not just the management. There are different management tools if you're really a professional Google Ads specialist that you can use, but for the beginner entry level, one business owner managing one campaign, WordStream is a great tool to use. Now shifting gears to one that's a little bit of an outlier, but Zapier. Zapier is a great tool for your Google Ads campaign, and I'll tell you why. After you hit that subscribe button, where we're putting out videos like this every single Monday to help you learn more about Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and search engine optimization, click that little bell if you wanna get notified. So let's get back to Zapier. So Zapier has hundreds and hundreds of different connections that allows you to connect one tool to another tool. So for instance, we use Zapier to connect Google Ads to HubSpot, which is our CRM which then we use to connect to our email automation tool. And so Zapier is a great tool to connect your landing page to a Google Sheet or your landing pages to your email automation tool. It's a way to incorporate all of your data together so that like you're not just getting these leads coming in from Google Ads that are just falling into the World Wide Web and you have no idea where any of this is. You can connect Zapier to your Google Ads, to your Google Sheets, to your CRM, into your email automation or your email management tool. And so therefore everything is working cohesively together. So that's our tool, Zapier. It's free to use to an extent. There are different connections that you might have to pay for, but overall, definitely worth it. Now, of course, a Google Ads review list would not be the same without Google's Keyword Planner. So Google's Keyword Planner is free to use. It's right within your Google Ads account, and it will literally tell you the trends, the volumes, the average cost per clicks, the budgets. You can even add in conversion rates to determine how effective your Google Ads campaign is going to be. So what we like to do is we usually look at everything else first and then go into Google Ads Keyword Planner to make sure that our campaign is going to be successful based on all of the other data that we've gotten in. Follow what I'm saying? We wanna make sure we check off all the boxes before we just start throwing in random keywords into Google's Keyword Planner. So that's our number five tool for Google Ads. Now, this one is a complete outlier. Now we're talking like futuristic, totally out of this world automation. The tool is called Magix. And currently we're testing a few different clients using Magix for our Facebook ads campaigns, but it does have a Google ads integration. And so our experience thus far is only based off Facebook ads, but essentially what it's doing is creating thousands of different data sets to determine the perfect audience for Facebook ads. And so it does the same thing with Google Ads and it breaks down all of the ad copy, the landing pages, the insights, the data points, all of these, and you can build out the automation tactics so that if one ad copy is working better, the other ad copies automatically get turned off and we can recreate test A, get rid of B and C, and now we're running new A-B tests based on all of these automation tactics that are being fired. And so you can set them and say, this ad will turn off if the average cost per click is over $7 for the next 12 hours. And so therefore we're testing all new different ad copies and data sets based on what Magix is showing us. So this one does cost money, there is a free seven day trial. Again, we'll leave the link in the description. And mind you, this is not a paid promotion. There is no sponsorship here. This is absolutely what we use and what we continue to test within our agency, Blue Water Marketing. So no one's paying us to review these. This is my personal opinion based on these tools. So if you like this video and if you have any questions about any of these tools, make sure to leave a comment below. I will answer you directly. If you did like this video and you found this helpful, make sure to subscribe or hit the thumbs up button. YouTube's algorithm loves to see that stuff and we hope you enjoy. So make sure to stay tuned next Monday and we hope you guys all had an amazing new year and let's get 2021 off a lot better than 2020.